But what I would say to uh, my honourable friend is, I would agree with him that Parliament has to determine the terms on which we leave. But this Parliament has declined three times to pass a withdrawal act with which the opposition, in relation to the withdrawal act, had absolutely no objection. And it was then we now have a wide number of this House setting its face against leaving at all. And when this government draws the only logical inference from that position, which is that it must leave therefore without any deal at all, it still sets its face, denying the electorate the chance of having its say, its say in how this matter should be resolved. This Parliament is a dead Parliament. It should no longer sit. It has no moral right to sit on these green benches and whatever. come to order. We've got a lot of business to transact. There is a further urgent question. There are no fewer, I say, for the benefit of those observing five ministerial statements. The attorney must be heard, and so, I hope, will lots of other people. The attorney. They don't like to hear it, Mr Speaker. They don't like the truth. Twice they have been asked to let the electorate decide upon whether they should continue to sit in their seats while they block 17.4 million people's votes. This Parliament is a disgrace. Given, given the opportunity, given, since, since I am asked, let me tell them the truth. They could vote no confidence at any time, but they're too cowardly. They could agree to a motion to allow this house to dissolve, but they're too cowardly to give it away. This parliament should have the courage to face the electorate. But it won't. It won't because so many of them are really all about preventing us leaving the European Union at all. But the time is coming. The time is coming, Mr Speaker, when even these turkeys won't be able to prevent Christmas.